Yo guys, what's up? Khaled here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see we're an ultimate team and today we're going to be trying something new, something fun. Jack Butlin wins the wildcard, firestar, firestar, right footed, we're going to try him out at striker and at goalkeeper. So obviously him being firestar, firestar makes him pretty fun to use and that's why we're going to play him as striker. So he does have some decent speed, so I'm expecting him to be able to actually run a little bit and maybe just make it difficult for defenders. Kicking, I don't really think the kicking makes a difference when it comes down to the shooting, but we're going to try it out anyway, and hopefully he is fun. But like I said, we can try him out as striker, and I've gone with, well, basically no links on it because he's a striker, but if he's in goals, you need English players, you need Premier League players, and that'll basically be enough to get him on full chemistry. But anyway, moving on then to the first clip of this video, starting off with almost an absolute belter. Jumps ahead of that man, throws his body at the ball, and the keeper makes an easy save. But what a volley that was from Jack Butland, and unfortunately, we were unable to score. But anyway, heading into the next clip here, Di Maria fancy pass to Salah. He finds Jack Butland. Can we get past Van Dijk? Yes, we can. He holds him off and went for a goal at the near post, and unfortunately, the goalkeeper does make a pretty easy save. Heading on to the next clip though, finally, to get the first goal of this game with Jack Butland. Salah has it, switched it across. Button is in behind and tucks it away. By the way, guys, if I lose my voice or sound really weird throughout this video, I do apologize. I am kind of sick, though it is kind of sore. But regardless, this video was a pretty fun video that I made, so I pretty much made sure to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible. But anyway, in this clip, just testing out the aerial ability on Jack Butlin. Salah has it, takes it into the box, and Butlin is there with a header of all things against guess who? Van Dijk yet again. Butlin has been torturing him this game and he has two goals to his name. What a header that is. Jumps up ahead of Van Dijk and wins it. It's kind of expected. I mean, Butlin is the goalkeeper. Um, his jumping is in real life supposed to be better and his height in general is a lot taller than Van I think he's taller than Van Dijk, surely, right? But regardless, we're not sure to discuss his height. We have to discuss how fun the card is and how cool it is to use him as striker. So here, just after that goal to make it a hat trick, just showcasing the dribbling on the card, utilizing the skill moves, get puzzle on two, and fun dike is three, and we do end up unfortunately just missing the target. But anyway, onto the next clip here. Salah has it. I see Button at the far post. First time bicycle kick on the weak foot, and you know what? That's not too bad. That was not too bad at all. It was almost on target. He was pretty close to getting it on target. Unfortunately, it was just over. But onto the next clip, probably the best goal of this video, or maybe the second best. You guys can decide. But a brilliant goal. Cuts inside, cuts back out, cuts back in, and finesses it into the top corner with that left foot from outside the box he just fools the defender absolutely sends it this guy doesn't know where we're going to go and we do end up scoring and just here showcasing the curve not much not much at all but he does manage to pick out the top corner brilliant finish from him and here we're going to get another one Marquisio has it can we just move the pass on to somebody eventually we can get the pass back into Marquisio Di Maria back to Marquisio fizzes that out to Butler takes a touch rainbow flick volley Top corner once more around the same position that he scored the finesse shot from but this time rainbow flick volley and he finds the top corner once more brilliant goal from Jack Butlin here look at the skill brilliant from the rainbow flick and well I'm just gonna have a look at that a closer look at that sorry and you guys will see that it was basically right into the top corner there's no chance the goalkeeper saves this a pretty well executed rainbow flick not gonna lie and to Stegen like I said stands absolutely no chance but moving on to the next game here, Navas has it, gets the pass into Mascherano. Can we just create a chance here? Butland can try some Vero flick, get past it bad again. It's Van Dyke again. Butland has been absolutely destroying Van Dyke. Any Van Dyke is anybody in this video so far. And here, just gonna test out the dribbling once more. Butland has it. Can we just get past this man? Yes, we do. Doesn't really execute skill, but he does rainbow flick pretty well, as you guys can see. And unfortunately, it goes away from him, and we do end up losing the ball. But here, though, Butlin has it. Flip flap finally managed to do that. I'm trying for a while. Brilliant dribbling, keeps it going, walks past that defender, and on the left foot, passes it into the back of the net. Brilliant dribbling, and a great goal from Jack Butlin. Genuinely, this card is very, very fun to use. He's obviously not going to be the best of strikers. He's a goalkeeper. I mean, you kind of expect that. But here, though, he makes a pretty good tackle. Wins the ball back. Benassa gets it back to him. Can we score here? Fake shot. Sends the defender. And once more, on the five-star weak foot, 
he tucks it away. Honestly, this guy's got a lot of goals on his left foot, which is something I never ever thought I would say for goalkeeper Jack Butland. But honestly, who cares? Because here, he's going to get a very, very good assist. Di Maria has it onto Butland, just flicks it onto De Bruyne. It's a good touch and he scores a brilliant finish from De Bruyne. But all that possible because of this pass from Jack Butland. Just flicks it on, swings his right boot at it. De Bruyne is there, takes a touch into his path to score. But anyway, of course, he's a goalkeeper, so we got using a goalkeeper. And this is a pretty good save from him. Honestly, I expected him to score that, and Butlin was able to just push it to the side and um, give this guy a corner. But on to the next clip here, this guy has another chance. Jenko gets into Morientes. Not going to showcase too many goalkeeping clips, but this is another pretty decent save. This guy goes for goal to the near post, and Butlin basically is there to thwart his effort. But just showcasing the dribbling from goalkeeper. He's able to get past uh, Robbie Keane, I'm pretty sure that is. Can he get past Sinchenko as well? Yes, he does. And just going to step on each other. Look at the pace from goalkeeper. This man runs so fast. But can we keep it going? Unfortunately, we can't. I mean, do end up losing it, but it doesn't matter. Two seconds later, we win it back. I mean, do end up scoring a tap in with Morata. But anyway, with that being said, it is time to review the card. Unfortunately, I can't keep speaking for much longer because I am losing my voice. But when it comes down to the Jack Butlin card, it is honestly a very very fun card to use in general you put him at goalkeeper you get the ball to him if you're winning comfortably just try and dribble around with him have some fun and you can also get out of a tricky situation if he is in their goalkeeper position you can just use your skills use your imagination and get out of that tight speed but striker if you want to actually have some fun with him look at those stats look at those stats i played four games with him up top four games seven goals or one assist so he didn't get any goals or assists from goalkeeper but genuinely this card is very fun. You can play in a like, sort of striker position. I genuinely, if you know what you're doing, if you know how to skill, if you just want to have some fun in general in the game, put him as striker. Have some fun, enjoy, and genuinely, he will make the game a lot more fun when when you're actually playing it. So, like I said, he is a goalkeeper. He's gonna play goalkeeper. He plays like a goalkeeper. Obviously, putting him as striker, giving him five star skills doesn't make him play like a striker. He's not gonna. He's not gonna be like Cristiano Ronaldo, I guess. But He's still pretty fun to use, like I said. He scores some pretty unique goals. Um, makes some pretty ridiculous attempts as well at goals. So, genuinely, a very, very fun card in all in all. But is this card worth it? Like I said, a fun card. So, yes, 100%. But with that being said, I do bring it into the video. So, if you like this video, smash the thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then, guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.